Hello and welcome! In this video, we will review newly released Logitech MX Master 3S, the refreshed version of a very popular ergonomic mouse for professionals, creators, and people who just like to get things done more efficiently. Sit back, relax, and enjoy! I have already reviewed MX Master 3 on this channel last year and because you guys like that one a lot, I have decided to pick up this mid life cycle update of this product which is, believe it or not, 3 years old now. That's right, MX Master 3 was released back in September 2019. I will show you how is Logitech trying to keep this product fresh despite changes being rather minor. It might be another two years before we see MX Master 4. Also, this product is very special to me because it's something I use every single day, whether it was the original, which I've been using since it was released, or this refreshed version, which I had something over one month now. I use it in my full-time job, but also to edit all videos for this YouTube channel. And beside that, also to do some other design work. Therefore, I believe that I have spent a decent amount of time using it to share my opinion with you, what I like about Master 3S and what I think Logitech should improve or possibly even add in the future versions. We're gonna look at its features up close and in the end we will conclude whether it is worth upgrading from Master 3 or you should just save up and wait for MX Master 4. MX Master 3S is virtually identical to Master 3 with the exception of color. Logitech now added this new pale grey and at first I was hesitating, but now I love this new fresh finish over original Master 3, which I had in graphite. This new color has replaced mid-gray, but with this change, I think there is a better differentiation between two. So far, I can report that pale gray doesn't pick up any smudges or fingerprints. That said, it can get dirty very easily. By the way, graphite color is still available. Okay, so let's now talk about features and what's new for this S update. First, let me show you what's new for MX3S. In fact, there are only three new things here. At first glance, MX3S is virtually identical to MX3, including ergonomic shape, which allows you to perfectly wrap your hand around it. And then there is also thumb rest, which also serves as a button for various gestures. But there's nothing wrong with this, because MX3 was already a fantastic mouse. Despite that, there are some notable changes. First is the color, which I have already mentioned. The second is a brand new sensor. It's still a dark field, high precision sensor, but DPI has been doubled from 4000 to 8000, which makes it easier to use on large screens, smoother on the screens with high refresh rate, but also making MX3S usable on almost any surface, even a glass, according to Logitech. Essentially, you will get more precise and smooth navigation around your desktop. Third one are the upgraded silent switches. Logitech claims that clicks are now 90% quieter than before and I can confirm that they are barely audible. Have a listen. Despite being silent now, clicks still remain very satisfying and tactile. For me personally, it is quite fascinating that after all this time, no other brand could come up with proper competitor to challenge MX Master Mouse. And that's the reason why I think that MX Master is still a number one choice for creators, designers and other professionals. Okay, so back to features. Now, what hasn't changed? since original MX Master 3. This mouse has seven buttons in total. This brings us to my favorite feature on MX Master Mouse, and that's this max speed electromagnetic scroll wheel. It is essentially using magnets to control rotation movement of scroll wheel, which minimizes the noise and wear and tear. Below the side scroll wheel button, 
we can find forward and backward buttons. And there is also this handy LED indicator next to it, which indicates low battery and status during pairing process. Speaking of battery, MX3S has a battery life of 70 days and uses USB-C for charging. You can still keep using the mouse while being charged, which is nice to see. I'm looking at you, Apple. For my own testing, I can kill it within 30 days. This is based on very intensive use. I will still rate this battery life as very good. Side scroll wheel enables for horizontal scrolling, tab switching, or volume adjustment. I actually use this scroll wheel so much that I miss it if I'm not using MX Master. Weight is unchanged. Still 141 grams, which is a tiny bit heavy for some users based on reviews. But for me personally, it is just perfect. Now, that's a lot of features for 129 euros or 99 dollars, but still a rather expensive mouse. To connect this mouse to your PC or Mac, you can still use Bluetooth with a receiver or you can use Bolt USB receiver, which is included. Unified receiver was replaced by Bolt receiver, which is now standard across most Logitech products. It's still using low latency Bluetooth 5.1, but I wish Logitech would finally transfer to USB-C instead of chunky USB-A. USB-A is becoming more rare and having this valuable port occupied by a dongle isn't ideal. MX3S supports easy switch, meaning you can have it paired up to three devices and quickly switch between them using dedicated button at the bottom of the mouse. I find this feature very handy since I switch in between Mac, Windows and many other laptops I'm currently testing all the time. Logitech has recently released new version of their software and I would highly recommend installing it in order to unlock further potential of this device. Logi Option Plus is fully redesigned and fresh experience where you can see all your devices at a glance and where you can further customize your device. You can of course stream up buttons, you can set macros, but you can even have different profiles set for different apps, which is brilliant and it really enables you to make the most of MX3S. There is also Logitech Flow, but what actually is Logitech Flow. Imagine a universal control, but for both Mac and Windows. That's essentially what Flows is intended to do, assuming you can get it up and running. Flow then allows you to copying and pasting between different devices seamlessly. This must be set up in Logitech's Logi Option Plus software. Once set up, all you need to do is go with your mouse to the edge of the screen and it will switch to a different device automatically. I personally don't use it because I finding to be a little slow and a bit too laggy for my liking. As far as competition goes, there isn't many of them out there. If you exclude Logitech's own MX Master Anywhere and Logitech G604. However, at first I would still like to look at Logitech and that's the Logitech G Pro, the gaming mouse, lighter, smaller and ambidextrous. Despite being a gaming mouse with RGB off, it is a very discreet and minimal mouse. From my experience, it is perfectly usable, not just for gaming, but also for work, but I really miss the horizontal scroll wheel a lot. Downside, it still uses USB mini for charging. Absolutely a no-go in 2022, especially on products priced over $100. That's right, G Pro will set you back 129 euros or dollars. Not sure what Apple is waiting for. Everyone hates their Magic Mouse 2 and its infamous not so elegant charging solution. Despite that, it is still being used a lot in the wild. Hopefully, Apple will soon introduce worthy rivals for MX Master. Lenovo Go Wireless Multi-Device Mouse. I know, it's a long day. This is the first generation of premium mouse from Lenovo, focused mostly on productivity on the go, as the name suggests. It features ambidextrous design, it has sideline clicks, you can pair it with up to three devices, and as a bonus, it has wireless charging. That's right, you can simply rest this device on the Qi charger and it will charge overnight. If you, however, prefer a wired option, you can still use USB-C for charging as an alternative. Next, we can mention 
Gen Razer Pro Click, which is similarly priced and shaped as MX Master 3S. The Razer team that with human scale to develop this one, and unlike Logitech, this one offers storage for dongle at the bottom. Biggest downside of Razer Pro Click is that it also uses micro USB-C for charging just like the Logitech G Pro. There is also a mini version of Razer Pro Click which uses two AA batteries. This brings us to the conclusion. I think it is pretty obvious that MX3 remains despite this modest update the best choice for productivity, creative professionals, and many more. Should you upgrade if you already own MX3? Probably not. This one is more nice to have update rather than must have one. MX3S is very well built. It has attractive ergo design, it works flawlessly, and once you will try it, you won't want to switch back. That said, I wish Logitech would listen to user feedback and introduce lighter and smaller version even maybe a left-handed version. I also hope Logitech will switch to USB-C dongle with MX4. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know down below in the comment section what is your favorite mouse and why. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.